<laughs> look, um, it's Trolls 3, Trolls Band together. I'm not 100% sure what you want me to say about this one. Um, by the way, if I look like I'm a little disheveled, I just got back from the movie. I took a shower. I have a, I have a headache. I took some ibuprofen and I took a hot shower. I'm feeling better and good enough to do the review. And then I'm probably just going to head straight to bed. Um, oh, by the way, the what if's going to just be postponed until tomorrow, at least I might even just postpone until Monday just because I'm behind. Um, but anyway. Trolls band together. Uh, now, this is a weird franchise for me because I saw the first one. <clears throat> a pandemic hit, so I didn't get a chance to see the second one. And now I've seen the third one, which I know the pretense behind the second one. Don't really like it that much because it's vilifying rock and roll, at least as a bad guy, which is bullshit. <laughs> because there are a bunch of different music styles out there. And they make a point of noting that in that second movie. But anyway, uh, this one. Uh, they're Poppy and <laughs> whatever the, uh, Justin Timberlake troll's name is. Uh, uh, bar, it begins with a B. Batch. Branch. Branch. That's what it is. Branch. Uh, I already came back to the movie. I'm already forgetting shit. Uh, Branch are, uh, attending the wedding of the two Bergens that got hooked together. Uh, and then his long lost brother shows up. It's like, we gotta reunite, the, we gotta get the band back together. Because one of their brothers was kidnapped, and the only thing they could break a diamond prison in this world, the perfect harmony. So, there you go. Which, plot issue, of like, uh, plot hole, how did they get him in that little, uh, he's in this, like, little perfume spray bottle that they're using to, like, drain his talent and use, like, perfume. How did they get him in there uh, if there's no, like, no visible way to open that thing up. Because if there's a visible way to open that thing up, then you don't need to break the damn dime. You just need to open up the top of that thing. Uh, but the villains of this one are these... We keep meeting more and more races in this world. I don't know what these are. They're the most humanoid-looking things we've seen. Like, not even humanoid. The most human-looking things we've seen in the series thus far. But they're clearly not. Um... So I really just don't know what they are supposed to be. Because uh, we've got Bergens, which are kind of a different type of troll in general. Or, or like an ogre or something. We've got the trolls themselves. Um, we got like the little mini trolls. We've got the worms. We've got the weird creatures. The caterpillar truck thing we had in this one. Uh, but then we got these things, which are basically just kind of like, almost look like Bratz dolls a little bit. A little spaghettified. Um, so yeah, that's that's the gist of the movie. And look... Because I'm still not feeling great. I'll, I'll summarize this. Try to keep this review short. Movie's perfectly harmless. It's bright, colorful, a lot of music, a lot of movement. Your kids are going to be entertained. The one kid I saw in there with his family at seven o'clock when I went in there uh, seemed to be enjoying himself. He was dancing to the credits. So it's perfectly harmless in that sense. Is it a great movie? God no. These movies aren't great movies. These are not going to be nominated. These are not going to be nominated for any best pictures. Uh, but they're perfectly harmless. Um, the a few original songs are are pop songs. Not I'm not a pop kind of guy usually. There are songs in the pop genre I like, but th these are just made for the movie and they're fine. I will say, let me know if this was uh, something they did in the sequel because I don't recall this in the first film. Although the first film came out close to a decade ago now. Um, did they start doing like uh compilation mixes of a bunch of songs because um that's what they were doing a lot in this movie or it's like a bunch of songs kind of rolled into wrong like a jock jam kind of thing so um, was that something they introduced in the second movie because if it was okay i understand it's showing up here if not it's like well you wow you just wanted to show off your new songs you didn't give a rat's ass about like doing anything um you know uh playing homage thing as this is largely a jukebox musical i mean okay the one song that gets its own like just straight cover is sweet dreams which the villains sing most of the time uh and fame fame uh like if sweet dreams goes into fame they're pretty much singing most of that song um i'll actually say this too this is one of those films that um I, I got a little surprised at because I, I found some of the jokes working for me, uh, particularly with the Bergens on their honeymoon, because there's a couple jokes there where I'm like, 
I wonder if the youngins are going to get that one, or is that just something for the adults? There's a joke about being about them getting caught and tied up, and he goes, oh, I thought only one of us was getting tied up on this honeymoon. I'm like, given the fact you're portrayed as pretty young and kitty, even though by Bergen standards they're probably adults, I'm like, oh, oh my. <laughs> but then they get there, the one scene I actually was kind of digging a little bit was this scene where they go to get one of their brothers back, Spruce, whose name is Bruce, who was the hot one of the ads, who's now grown his hair and has got a gut. He's married, and the, I give them the credit on the animation here, because it was animation, but like it almost looked like straight-out sock puppet Muppets. Like, legit, like you'd see on Fraggle Rock or something like that. It almost looked like that. But you could still tell it was animated, but the texture was fantastic. It's one thing I give credit to this movie's series, that their world they make is actually kind of fun and unique, their food looks the same in many ways, but like a, other things like a cookie, for example, is just plastic, whereas a hot dog just looks like a hot dog. Um, but their water is just those little water beads. Um, and and he's and the troll is married to this this giant side. Like, how do you make it work? Or we make it work. Or it's, it's just, you know, we just do it. What am I joking? Maybe. I don't know. It's like... <laughs> oh, man. And, and I liked his wife. I liked, I liked Bruce, Bruce's wife because you just she just seemed like the most relatable person there uh you can tell they have a good marriage and it does make you wonder given the amount of kids they had how did that work um but no there there were actually some jokes that hit surprisingly all right not like i was laughing my ass off but i'm going like okay i'm, I'm kind of i'm kind of snorting a little bit um but it's just it's just the generic kind of plot point beats that you're really just you're really trying to rush through this film, honestly, because I don't think this film clocked in. Let's see, I went in at seven with trailers. Not a lot, mind you. I got out at 8.42. That means I don't think this film clocked in. I think this film barely clocked in an hour and a half. Hold on, Trolls 3. How long was this film? This film clocked in. By the way, this film is only made on about 95, which is relatively cheap. This film is bit, literally a minute over an hour and a half. It's an hour and 31 minutes long. It felt that long. Like, it, it, it felt short. And you could tell just by the way plot points are just being, like, we're introduced. Oh, I'm going a sister. Really? Oh, ah. Oh, she's not going to let us leave. Okay, we're leaving now. But it's, it's just going through the motions. But, again, this is just made for young kids. It's not a really thinking it's not really like making you think or ponder or anything like that they're there for the colors the movement some funny a funny joke here or there and some lots of music and dancing and that's what you get so in that sense it works is this going to be on my best list god no will it be I mean, it'll be on my animated film list of the year but um is it going to be on the higher on the animated film list hell no it's not going to be there um we'll see hopefully wish will be there we'll see what migration brings uh but anyway i digress so that's my thoughts on trolls quick simple what did you think you've seen the movie let me know but thanks for watching hope you enjoyed and i'll see you next time